Well, this is my uh, 2001 Nissan Xterra SE. And I just want to do a uh, quick video on it. So here we go. See, I've had this Xterra for like three and a half years now. And have uh, never done a video or anything on it, so I just wanted to do one. So let's get started. Like I said, this is a 2001. It's an uh, SE right there. Um, it's got uh, basic suspension lift, shackle, add leaf, torsion bar. Uh, upper control arms. It's sitting on 285, 75, 16 Definity Dakotas, which is the Pet Boys brand, but at the time, that's just what I got at the time when I bought the tires. It's got the uh, Shrockworks rock sliders that I put some bed liner on because I just, I just like the way that it looks I think it looks pretty nice has the Shrockworks front bumper some shackles the Hella 500's what else oh it's got the uh, it has a uh, Cal Mini steering system on it the heavy duty version with a Bilstein stabilizer as well. Um, yeah, those are the stock fogs that are just bolted to the to the body underneath. Um, has a snorkel to a, a volant intake that you'll see in a second. Okay. It's got a high lift on the top. Blacked out taillights, of course. And a big old fire stick antenna with the little hatch mount. And the um, ring of uh, ring of fire, fire ring. Stare at it. Alright, let's take a look inside. Pop the hood as well. Let's see. Let's start with the hood actually. Let's see. Standard 3.3 Optima battery. Volant intake with the uh, Bandit 4x4 aluminum cover. Uh, it's supposed to help keep the intake temperatures lower and it's supposed to help waterproofing. Looks pretty nice. I got it, got it as a present from my brother a couple years back. So that was nice. Nothing super special. It has a, a PA in it for the CB. You can see in a second. Uh, yeah. Pretty nice. Which I just saw. Stay the trail, of course. That's your basic. 2001 Xterra interior. Start it here. We've got Sony, Sony head unit, and a scan gauge, and 
a Rockford Fosgate uh, base knob punch equalizer I believe and then the CB is right down here underneath the uh, scan gauge get some light in here so you can see it yeah so it just sits right there in front of the uh, 4x4 changer thing whatever you call that and the stick shift coming up empty on words I don't know what the fuck this is called anyway so yeah then CB has the, the regular CB and the uh, Over. It has a PA as well, where that speaker was out in the engine bay, so I can talk to people outside the car. Um, there was just like a little change pocket thing in here that just the hole was made bigger, and we shoved the CB in. Came out pretty nice. It's pretty cool looking. And uh, let's take a look here. We have a, a couple of switches. This switch goes to nothing. It's what the hell is used to be on. But then I got this uh, this old, not old, but this these switches from the early early Pathfinders that had the fog lights. These are just your regular three prong switch, and they fit in all the blank and all the blank spaces and all the Nissans. So I picked. You can get these. These were still available when I wanted them. So I bought a couple extra and it just turns the hellas on it's pretty nice which means I gotta get a new one of these things so I can get rid of that stupid hole and there's a stupid cell phone holder on there from the previous owner I don't know why there was a cell phone holder I don't know why I didn't take it with them but there was too many holes for me to not want to take it off so uh, sunroof Moving them back standard rear as well cup holders got some parts to fix the leaky power steering lines have your amp and your capacitor both Rockford Fosgates and then two P212s when I was real big into bumping music. So yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm sure I'm forgetting some things. I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things, actually. But I don't want to make this video too long. Oh, see, we have the Warren hubs. Can't forget those. Can't forget those. And that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. There she is.